Good morning, everyone. Today we're here at Dollywood uh, because they're going to do a special announcement today about a new roller coaster they're going to build here. Are you ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. Good morning, it's a beautiful day here in Tennessee, here at Dollywood, and we're super stoked because we are going to learn about a new roller coaster they're gonna build here. And uh, what do you think, Dawn? I'm excited. Yes. Bright early in the morning at Dollywood, and folks are just starting to enter the park. And today's a special day, because Dolly is here today. She's going to announce this new roller coaster. Uh, so it's, it's called the Bear. Or, or the big bear or, or something in that realm. We will find out as the day goes on what's going on here. And uh, first we're gonna, we're gonna meet up with the media folks over there and get our passes so we can see what this whole thing is about. We're sitting in the theater and we're waiting for Dolly to come out to announce this new roller coaster. Are you excited? I am. You can see here it says Big Bear Search Party. So there's a theme to this ride. Uh, we're super stoked to learn more about. Um, and they've been giving us hints like all week about, you know, the adventure that we're going to go on today. So they're going to learn, we're going to learn more about that. And uh, there was a, there was a telephone number that uh, went out. You can call it and they gave a little story about there was bear sightings, big bear sightings at that. Uh, through Wildwood Grove. Of course, Wildwood Grove is where they're putting uh, this roller coaster. And um, so I'm guessing, is the ride called Big Bear then? Now the story continues with the largest single attraction in Dollywood history. Please welcome Vice President of Marketing, Pete Owens and friends. Good morning, Miami Passport. Ladies and gentlemen, you just had an opportunity to be reminded about the incredible scope and story that Wildwood Grove has. Today, I have some special friends here to share details about an incredible expansion to the golden ticket winning best children's area in the world, Wildwood Grove. To, take, to, to make today's announcement, here's our dreamer in chief, Dolly Parton. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Because you see, 
Now, Benjamin, you're, you know, you, you kind of head out to Wildwood Grove and you keep looking because we're talking about an entirely different thing and I'll, I'll check out with you later, okay? Anyway, now as, as the story goes though, there's this huge bear that's been roaming these hills for years. And folks all around Wildwood Grove say that they've seen him. But for the first time next year, you can go in a group of adventurers searching for Big Bear with your fellow ranger, Ned Oakley. And we call it Big Bear Mountain. And it's going to be awesome. Let's step over here and let's take a look at this. Oh, okay. Video. We got a whole big video and it's scary and fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. That makes me 
makes us feel really good, and like I mentioned before, it takes a whole group of wonderful, talented, creative people to make all those dreams come true. So we don't know where we're going to go from here, but hopefully it's going to be up. Doing more fun things for families. Hi, I'm Vinay Simla of WBIR. I wanted to ask, um, $500 million, it's a huge expansion here in the place you grew up. Why is it so important for you to invest that here? Well, it's important. I like to talk about money. That is, that's a lot of money you talked about. <laughs> but we don't spend a lot of money. You have to make a lot of money and you have to spend a lot of money. But we really feel like it's great for this part of the country and for us to have a great vacation destination. We think we're the big, we're the big guys. And this is a wonderful part of the world and it is my home. So, of course, I'm always excited to get to do anything in and around here that does great. Uh, even out on the parkway with all of our other business things and all the other local people that do great things for the tourists coming through here. So I'm just hoping that with all that money we're spending, we'll just continue to do great things for the families to enjoy. We don't get to keep all that money. We put most of it back in, don't we? We get our share. But, <laughs> but really, like I say, as they always say, it takes money to make money, and we just keep trying to make sure that we just want to be there to entertain people, and especially the families, because we are a family vacation destination. Woo! Okay, hello, Kristen Gallant with WATE TV. Uh, I would like to ask you, where did your inspiration come from for this attraction? For, for this particular one? Well, like we were saying earlier, when we built Wildwood Grove, we felt like that the park, when we first started it, uh, we take everything into consideration and we felt like that we were kind of getting bottlenecks, so to speak. We couldn't get the, the tourists and people in and out fast enough, good enough, so we thought, well, we need to expand the area where people can get in and out easier. Then we started thinking, what would we do to do that? Then we thought, well, we need to put something fantastic there in order to make it great for families where they can have indoor and outdoor activities. And so that's kind of, it started out of necessity, like most things do, but then it just took on a life of its own, and it is one of the best parts of the whole park, and people really love that. Don't you agree? Yeah, you know how much Dolly loves butterflies? Yeah. So we made, we made sure attention to put in 23 different butterfly moments on this ride. It's one of the most quantity oh. on any family coaster in the country, which we're really excited about. That's a lot of butterflies. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't know butterflies could fly that fast, though. <laughs> I like it. But anyhow, it's, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, do we have more questions? Yeah, that one, here. one more? How come everybody's getting to do it over on that side? <laughs> Two people running out in the day. I guess they got the cameras over on that one. Hi. Hi, Dolly. Kristen with WCYB in Marshall. Get sure. close to that mic. Yes, sorry. I'm Oh, you're talking about what I'm doing here on the park, the movie? Well, I was going to talk about that. I, a lot of you people don't know what we're doing here on the park. Well, I'm, I came here today to kind of to do this. We like to always, with Eugene, we've kind of become like a duet. We like to announce everything that we're doing that's good and special, like our new resort that's coming up next fall. But I'm on the, the park now because some of you may or may not have heard, we're doing a movie, a special, for NBC, and we're doing it all from Hollywood, and we're starting on Monday, and uh, it's kind of like a movie, like a show within a show, so to speak, because it's really a special with a lot of music, special guests like Jimmy Fallon, Billy Nelson, Molly, Cyrus, and we got Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Allen, and we got uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, several great guests, but we got uh, my family's going to be singing, we're going to do all that, but it's kind of like we're going behind the scenes, making it like a movie with actors, like all the things that, that go on trying to put a show together. So we thought people love to see that anyway. So you're going to see what it's like to build a show, all the drama and all the things that can go wrong, and that way or go wrong. But anyhow, that's going to be shown on NBC sometime before Christmas, sometime in early December. Thank you, and I love all of you too. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to run on and uh, we're, we're in rehearsals. I mean, got to dance a little bit. Before you sneak away, I think there's one more question. Oh, you got another question? Yeah. Oh, Hi, Dolly. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> this is Carly Caramano with Yahoo. Hi. Uh, I'm a big theme park fan, so I'm excited particularly about all your projects, like the lodge and the coaster. 
what are you most excited for families to experience? If you had to pick one thing, what are you just can't wait to light up for family family? <laughs> well, there's really not one thing, you know, that I that I can say that I'm most fond of. I'm just proud that the whole park and all the wonderful things, how they draw from my childhood and my upbringing to with all the new things that we put on, we try to make it relatable to where people identify it with me, something that I've experienced or something that I do. So I'm very proud of all of it. People often ask me, uh, you know, do I have a favorite song that I've written? I always say no, they're all like my children. And I hope that they uh, support me when I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older. But anyway, it's the same with Dollywood. We love to see all the new things come along. And we're just proud of every single thing that goes on year in and year out. I love to watch it grow, and I take great pride in being able to share that with all of you who know and we're doing something great for families that come through here. Yeah. This is the final question. Hey, Dolly, I'm Katie Smith, and I'm a Dollywood insider. So Christmas is many colors, and Christmas on the Square has become required holiday viewing in my house. So with this new special, what is going to make it something that's repeat watching? Well, I think you're going to really love this special because we really just talk about, as I mentioned before, like a, what it's like to make a special, but it has some really uplifting songs and the Christmas spirit, and I talk a lot, I sing a lot of songs that are very uplifting because I think this day and time, we really need that. We got ourselves in such a mess, so I'm trying to bring a lot of light, a lot of fun, a lot of joy, so we've got a lot of comedy, a lot of great songs that are very meaningful. We're doing, one of my things I'm most excited about is Zach Williams is going to be on the show, and we're singing uh, There Was Jesus. <laughs> and they've had to decorate some of these streets with all the Christmas stuff that they do every year at Christmas. As you know, our Christmas holiday and you know, our special here in Hollywood with all the parades and all the lighting. Well, they are having to redo that now for early, and I'm sure they'll do it again at Christmas. But the fact that they're going all out you know, to help us get the filming done, too. So, and, and then, like you said, we're going to have a lot of people on the park watching a lot of the filming some of the days. If the park is closed, we'll do some of the stuff where we need the streets more uh, if we're doing outside. It's not a musical, too. A lot of dancing. Did any of you see the Christmas on the square? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like that, but different. <laughs> but it's, it's got a lot of music, but we are doing some dancing and singing, and a lot of it is in the streets, and all of it's done here on the park, so I'm very proud of that. Well, I, I know Dolly's really busy, so let's give her a big round of applause for being here. Thank you. Thank you. I want to say that I appreciate all of you for coming, and I do have to run because I'm officially going, like I say, do some choreography. I told her, I said, I don't dance, don't get carried away with that. But I do have to find my place where all the people are dancing around me, and I'm going to go do that, and Pete and Eugene are going to answer some more questions if you need it. So, thank you. Bye, Dolly. exciting announcement here today. Media members, remain in your seat and we'll set up for one-on-one -on -one interviews in just a few minutes. And remember, come visit me at the Adventure Outpost in 2023 as we search Wildwood Grove for Big Bear. Things are gonna get big. The roller coaster will be 4,000 feet of track. That's a pretty good sized coaster. It's going to cost $25 million. So that, that's pretty, it's a pretty big price, but it's a big, it's a big coaster overall. 
it's also going to be a first coaster that has speakers built into it and it's going to play music and stuff as it goes around the track or tell the story of the big bear so it's going to be really interesting um i got this uh little sheet here a little little cheat sheet here i'm just learning about it right now as we go through the top speed is 48 miles an hour so it's gonna be um it's gonna be it's not gonna be super intense i mean it's gonna be a family coaster so you can ride it with like you know the, the littler ones or you know in the illustration you can see it has like a lot of like really cool hairpin turns and at 48 miles an hour it's gonna seem a lot faster uh like fire chaser uh is the same way but we were here during the opening of wildwood grove and it's just so exciting to see the expansion happen and it's going to bring a lot more guests to back the park to experience this i think it fits perfectly what do you think about big bear being back there i think it fits this wildwood grove theme perfect uh, yeah. yeah i'm looking at a illustration of it now it's uh it's cool. It's, it's going to be a big roller coaster, too. Yeah, it's going to go from the front of Wildwood Grove all the way to the back. And um, it looks really good. There is a minimum height requirement of 39 inches. That's good to know. Now we're going to head over to the Front Porch Cafe to try some of the foods they're going to have available during the Harvest Festival. Here is one of the first t-shirts. Things are about to get big. Big Bear mountain at dollywood what do you think don yeah so there there's one of the official first t-shirts that is cool big bear mountain at dollywood bushes sweetie pumpkin chili with cornbread and crust bushes red kidney pinto cannoli beans with seasoned ground beef pumpkin mix for a hearty chili oh yeah so we got a little bit of fall is happening here at Dollywood, and we're going to be sampling it today. Go ahead and give it a big old, a big old. Uh, See the onions and the cheese and the cornbread chili. Yeah. It definitely got a lot of flavor. I can also really taste the pumpkin in it. It's really good. Yeah, it. it and looks... I like how they added these onions for a nice touch. Yeah. A little bit of a crunch. Dollywood does, always does a good job with their culinary arts. And I think they've done it again. So I'm guessing this is going to be in their fall festival. You can taste the um, pumpkin in it. Mm. Very cheesy. I like it. Good combination. Ooh. Very, very berry, isn't it? Very, very berry. It's macarated berries and lemon lime soda, and it gives its apple cider a refreshing flavor boost. Really good. It is good. So they just brought the pulled pork sandwich with the pumpkin barbecue sauce, the fall seasoned pork shoulder slaw smoked for 14 hours on a broach pumpkin spice barbecue sauce and cold slaw bun. And there it is. So yeah, these are eats from the Harvest Festival that will be happening here well, pretty soon, like within about about a month and a half or so, where it's going to be fall already, and this is the the pulled pork. Got a little bit of slaw there, and uh, looking really, really good. Huh. And it smells like it, smells good. it does smell good. I want I want to dig in. Go ahead and get in that sandwich. Look at that. So it's got like a pumpkin. Pumpkin spice to it. It tastes like pumpkin spice. Yeah. Definitely, definitely fall time here in. <laughs> oh, we're okay. Thank you. Oh, you want some? Like it. You like it? Loaded 
sweet potato, smoked barbecue chicken, pork belly, and cheddar. Loaded barbecue chicken, pork belly, and cheddar. It, look at that. Looks good. It does look, it smells really good too. Wow. Yeah. Looks look good, huh? I, like I think, sweet potatoes. I think the Harvest Fest is going to be a lot of fun this year. And with the food that they're showing us now, yeah, it's going to, I can't wait. Looking good. Wow. I love the chicken. So I think it tastes like it's been marinated. Yeah, uh, it's sweet. Almost like uh, teriyaki, right? Yeah. This would be the beef. That's the pork belly. Pork belly. So this, this is a sweet potato, right? Super sweet. Um, very good all the way through. A little bit of pork, pork belly. From shrimp, chicken, smoked sausage, gumbo with white rice. Authentic Creole style gumbo with white rice and scallions. So I can't have this because of the shrimp. So, but Dawn, you're gonna you're gonna try that out, right? I mean, it smells good. It's got a good flavor. Well, you can see there's, there's a shrimp. There's a shrimp. The shrimp looks like it's a pretty big piece of shrimp. It kind of reminds you of chili. No, it's got some, some I guess sausage. It's got some sausage in it. It does. It does. That's a big piece of meat. It, look, it looks like a, it's a pretty big piece of sausage. You want the sausage? No. Sauce. Pumpkin praline. Wow, it looks good, doesn't it? And it's a rich, creamy, sweet, crunchy, descended dessert. A great way to finish a meal. I can smell the uh, vanilla sauce and a little bit of pumpkin. And you can see um, pecans in it. Yeah, it looks. Now that I get closer, I can smell the pumpkin and vanilla. It smells good. <laughs> Can't wait to get into that. <laughs> It's kind of like a, a pumpkin roll, right? It reminds me of a pumpkin roll with um, pecans in it, right? So we're going to take the train around Wildwood Grove now and just kind of see if we can see where that new roller coaster is going to be laid out. Um, to kind of get like a, like a ridge look of it. The train's gonna be perfect for that. We took a ride on Dollywood Express to see the progress of Big Bear Mountain. As we rode around, we noticed they had a lot of the footings already poured for the supports and the concrete for the loading platform. This ride has already been built. All they have to do is bring it to this location and set it up. It will have a definite opening in 2023, probably an opening day of 2023. <laughs> Hey Casey, you doing a fine job? 